Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to welcome you all to Deutsche Bank. Out on the street would not have happened without 63 CEOs speaking at our summits around the world, without firms like Deutsche Bank standing up and saying that this matters. Coming out is a constant process as the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people in the room know. But for allies, you have to come out as well. And that's a coming out process that's constant, and companies have to come out, and that's a constant process. The process of coming out is a risk, and every individual has to decide whether they are willing to risk their friends, their family, their job, their relationships, by saying, this is who I am. And that risk assessment makes them invaluable as a member of staff in your workforce. So the very best organizations know that when they tap into that integrity and values and ethics, they are better for it. Here we are in London, we are safe, we can be out and we can talk about uh, the issues that are important to us. But in other parts of the world, it's not safe to come out at all. I made a global index on legal recognition of homosexual orientation. My legal index has eight points. Good countries get eight, eight points. Arguably the three most investable countries today in sub-Saharan Africa are all at zero, which I think is really interesting because I grew up in Ghana. And I just wonder, if I go see the Ghanaian ambassador, which I'm now going to do, how do you feel about being zero <laughs> on the index? And who knows, maybe something happens. That might have such an impact there on the ground. And so it's wonderful when we share our experiences here in London at the Out Leadership Conference that resonates in other parts of the world as well. It was really important to me that my party started to recognise that the world really had changed. So I took it upon myself to be one of the first in my party to speak out in favour of issues such as civil partnership and same-sex marriage. And now we've got uh, a strong majority. It's important for the country uh, and also for business. Investors and therefore the investor community should push as shareholders to get companies in the private sector to behave properly. I think when you cut out certain populations as if they don't exist, then you're actually cutting out a portion of the talent pool. But if you're not happy with the business that you're in, the firm that you're in, there are now, I believe, plenty of banks, insurance yeah. companies, even law firms, who are absolutely very open and honest. Now, I encourage people to take your talent elsewhere. I first came to terms with my sexual orientation when I was in the UK as a graduate student at Oxford and I wrote article after article on gay rights issues, which led 18 months after my graduation to me being hired back as a faculty member at Yale Law School. On my first month of work, a very well-meaning, very kind mentor put his arm around me and said, Kenji, you'll have a lot smoother ride to tenure if you are a homosexual professional than if you are a professional homosexual. And I knew exactly what he meant. Finally, I decided that I'd much rather not get tenure as somebody who I was than get tenure as somebody who I was not. It's important that as LGBT leaders, not only we're out, but we talk about it. If the CEO of the UK is gay and comfortable to be out, I should also be out about whatever makes me feel different. Last week, we had Tim Cook come out. 60% of Apple's revenues are outside the United States. And interestingly, they sell iPhones in all 78 of those countries where it's illegal to be gay. So as I said last week, it's gonna be hard to be a homophobe holding an iPhone. So we were proud to issue a press release with seven CEOs who are allies of Tim, congratulating him on his decision to come out in a public way. As Tim Cook said, coming out is my brick in the path to equality. Take your own brick and use it. Future is not in front of us, but the future is inside of us. You're going to go home after this conference and encounter people who say, what did you learn? What should we do? Some organizations are already providing you with resources. Out Leadership is developing Outsmart Briefs for your executives to provide them with background upon key countries in which they work and things they can ask for when they go there to do business. Whatever we do leaving today, let's not be silent. Until everybody can come into this building, this campus, this industry, this society, uh, without any obstacle that is suggested by gender or affiliation or creed or orientation. We will continue to hold Diversity Week. Many of you will participate in such groups, but we're in them to get out of them. You do have to claim your rights by coming out as a company, as an ally, and that's really what today is about.